Oh, seriously? Hey you guys and welcome to this news video with me, 6 Plus Stevo. And this news is hot off the press of the uh, Warhammer community site. Um, just about an hour ago I see it pop up and uh, had to share this news with you guys if you haven't already seen it. Um, Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team is being uh, re-released. Um, a whole new game. Um, it looks pretty cool. The uh, On the community site, the uh, website reads, Mass battles between scores of units and thundering war machines are great, but there's always been an undeniable appeal to skirmishes. Those moment-to-moment -moment struggles where victory rests on the efforts of a mere handful of troops and their individual heroics, when every warrior is a distinct character with their own story. Over the years, Warhammer fans have enjoyed a range of skirmish games, from past iterations of Kill Team to the recent Shadow War Armageddon. Yeah, for about a week, Shadow War Armageddon. Um, we've taken the best of these systems and combined them to create a brand new gaming experience. The new Kill Team takes the stuff we know you love, Deep squad customization, narrative progression and development, low model counts, and marries it to a cutting edge rule design, bringing in the team behind Warhammer Underworld Shadespire to ensure the rule set is as tight and balanced as possible. Um, yeah, it, it sounds cool. It sounds really good. Um, the um, on the community site as well, it goes into a lot more detail, telling you about you know various aspects of the game. Um, basically it is a small skirmish game um, you have squads of between your army your squad will effectively be um, very small between um, it says on the site between five and ten models um, so it it looks really fun it looks cool there's a lot of progression in there um, you can uh, customize your squad quite heavily um, as they play through the battles and things. Um, you can take them through, um, upgrade them, and take them through different paths to uh, specialize them in a certain area of combat. Um, it's yeah, it does sound really cool. It looks really cool actually. Um, but I mean, it looks fantastic um, for everyone, um, experienced players and newbies alike. But it's particularly for new players. Um, for someone just trying to get into the game, um, this looks like a fantastic starting point. As you can see on the screen now, you're seeing um, some of the terrain and the actual game board you get in the box. You get um, two armies in there, or two squads. You get the uh, Skitari um, versus Gene Stealer Colts. Um, you get all the terrain you see there. You get the uh, game board, which is like a cardboard sort of game board. So very sort of board game-esque. Um, it comes with all the dice, rules, uh, everything you need by the look of it to get going. Um, and it just looks really cool. Um, I imagine this will be a lot cheaper than sort of getting the uh, 40k starter set, at least, you know, the big one. Um, and it's just a fantastic way to get started. You've, you've got a little bit of terrain, you've got your board, you know, so it's got all the scenery and everything in there. Um, you're not overwhelmed with a huge model count. Um, and I imagine games of this will take uh, a lot less time. So it's a lot less dedication. Um, it's just a perfect entry level. But as well, like I said, for experienced players who are looking for something a little bit more in depth um, than just straight up battles and want to sort of uh, level up their characters and the squads and things, um, it looks very cool. Uh, yeah, I really like the look of it. But it goes on further than that. Um, it looks like they're really going to, unlike with Shadow War Armageddon, they're actually really going to support this game. Because um, it looks like they're, they're, they're coming straight out of the gate with all sorts of stuff here. Um, you've got that starter set, but then they've got um, other terrain sets, um, which come with um, the board and terrain as well. Um, they've got one called the uh, Sect Sector Mechanicus, um, which comes with that Sector Mechanicus terrain, um, as well as a 20 inch by, is it 20, what, what was it? 22 inch by 30 inch game board. Um, so much like the starter set, but just a, sort of a specialized terrain, which comes with rules for using that terrain and everything. 
so uh yeah looks looks very very cool um and then um we've got different starter sets for different squads um as you can see on the screen now we've got the uh fangs of ulrich ulfric fangs of ulfric i think that says a uh, space wolf start set and then um as this is primarily an orc based channel um we have krog skulls boys and that's what we're really interested in on this channel isn't it um which looks pretty cool um i'll bring that up on the screen now show you what's actually in the box um following the numbers there you've got uh, five burner boys uh, which it says is cast in coloured plastic, so you can start playing as soon as possible. That's cool. Um, just pop them together and straight out of the box. That's quite that's quite cool. Um, now, I presume those Burner Boys are going to be like the same set you buy um, in the Burner Boy slash Looter box. So whether you can make those into Looters and Burner Boys, you know, or a mixture of both, I don't know, because your squads... Um, are not just sort of a basic squad like you get in 40k you really there's a lot of mixing and matching in there different you know different types of um warriors and characters etc in each squad so you can really mix it up so that sounds cool um and obviously in that set you get a mech as well so you've got a nice bit of variety there um you get an eight page booklet detailing the background and law of krog skulls boys which is pretty tasty uh custom token sheets featuring orky stylings uh, 12 orc tactics cards including six new tactics unique to this set um, a set of sector mechanicus galvanic servo haulers plus an environment card for using them in your games so that's cool um, you get those terrain pieces which i've always liked the look of actually um, and does anyone i can't be the only one thinking this when i'm looking at this terrain but i don't know if i would use that as terrain it's just begging to be um used in conversions of orc vehicles i mean that little servo hauler thing there i mean that's just screaming out to be converted into a grot tank um you've got another one sort of pulling the the larger crane which you could also convert into a grot tank the larger crane itself i mean you could do all sorts with that um i mean that's one thing you could do or you could just use them as the terrain they're intended for um, and five pre-filled data cards for a pre-built kill team. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Obviously, there's nothing new in there other than the data cards and the sort of the rules and the the lore of you know Krog Skulls boys, um, the burner boys and the terrain you get in there is already existing kit. So this is just old stuff repackaged and um, you know given a sort of a fresh lick of paint and you know rules for use in kill team. But they do state that these sets will be cheaper than buying these sets um, individually. Um, so I think these are going to be worthwhile picking up, even if you have no intention of playing Kill Team. You want some Burner Boys, you want some Looters, you want that terrain, um, then pick this up. You'll save yourself a few quid, get the other bits and bobs in there for free, um, and away you go. Uh, I'm very tempted by this. Um, because that terrain stuff looks awesome. And you can always use more burner boys and looters in your orc horde. Uh, the Space Wolf one is very similar. Um, comes with alternative um, terrain um, and squads of Space Wolves. But it's much the same thing. But we're orcs, so we're not going to worry too much about that. But yeah, there you go, guys. Anyway, um, the, the article goes on to list another load of terrain that you can get uh, that's um, ideal for use in Kill Team. Um, it looks like really, really cool terrain, actually. Um, it's the new... Um, what's it called? Let's have a look here. Uh, reading what right here. The best 40,000 terrain ever. It's worth taking a closer look at the new Sector Imperialis terrain. Put simply, this is some of the best Warhammer 40,000 terrain ever made. And looking at the pictures, um, I have to agree, actually. Um, I like the old sort of cities of death terrain and stuff that they had, but this stuff just looks like it's taking it one step further. It looks very, very cool. Um, so, I mean, that's ideal for Kill Team. It's ideal for 40k, um, full-size games, whatever. Um, and the article then goes on to list uh, special Kill Team uh, carry cases for your squads, uh, some special dice, tape measure. Uh, data cards, all the usual gubbins that they um, usually bring out with these sort of things. 
Um, yeah, it's quite an extensive article. I'll put a link in the description of this video. So if you haven't already read it, please go and have a look. Cause it looks really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't see any mention of prices and things yet other than the fact that they say that you know buying these sets will be cheaper than buying you know the sort of sets and terrain individually so already we know it's going to be pretty good value um but yeah stay tuned guys um obviously more news on this coming um it looks very very cool and it looks like this is a skirmish game that they are actually going to support and uh keep going i hope so anyway because Shadow War Armageddon I thought looked pretty cool, um, but that was on a very limited release, and I think the pre-orders were snapped up, and then that was it. We never saw it again, and then unless you were, you know, buying the sets at massively inflated prices on eBay, and uh, then they never supported that or carried it on, which was a real shame. But this Kill Team, um, this new version of Kill Team, looks really cool. Um, also, there's news on the um, uh, Rogue Trader kill team which by all accounts now the latest news on that is that that isn't actually a separate game it's just sort of a, a spin-off of kill team and they they both sort of work together which is quite exciting because if you haven't already seen that the models and stuff that you get in that rogue trader set look incredible um if you're a lover of uh, chaos um check that out because it looks really cool but anyway, guys, um, I will end this rambling video. I just thought I'd share this uh, bit of hot news with you while it was still hot. And uh, share your thoughts below. And uh, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Six Plus Steve-O, signing out.